my studio is a mess right now. I'm kind of embarrassed to show it like this, but let's face reality. This is what it looks like in the middle of creating a new collection of artworks in a tiny studio. But within all that mess, beauty is born. Memories, emotions and longings start to visualize themselves into the physical space. This new collection of abstract paintings will carry the title Pieces of Peace. In this collection I gave myself the freedom of experimenting on loose sheets of cotton canvas and then finding the perfect matching pieces to create a new work of art. The colors are inspired by the English sunsets and landscape that I experienced this summer. I must look like a crazy person sometimes, doing all this work to create an artwork, sewing it, stretching it, and then a few days later taking it apart again, because I'm not totally satisfied with it. But this is how it goes. Creation does not always happen effortlessly and the way you imagine. It does not always lead to your dream result immediately. It is a lot of trial and error. So-called mistakes often force me to find new ways of problem solving. And they often lead me to the most beautiful outcomes that I could not have planned beforehand. This is exactly what makes creating art so magical to me. There is this spiritual energy of creativity that is something outside ourselves. And it affects our work in a way that goes beyond our capability of planning and imagining an outcome with our minds. Oh my god, I feel so euphoric right now. I had such a struggle with the composition in this big piece and I kept removing pieces from it and now there's only two pieces left. And I love it. I love it so much. This 
big piece won't be easy to sew <laughs> in my tiny studio on the desk. Well, let's try. It's really helpful that I drew a line on the fabric first to stay straight with such a big piece. Because <laughs> it's moving a lot because of its weight. It's really heavy. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm sure my back will hurt after this, but. I can't wait to see the, the end result, the stretched, the sawn and, the sawn and stretched painting. Sawn? Well, I can't wait to see the end result when it's all stretched. Oh my god, it's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. At this point I'm in an euphoric disbelief that I've created that piece which is now standing right in front of me. What a magical feeling. Next time I'll show you the framed painting. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.